Dilly Star has the very latest on all of this. So I guess what is the fate of Cardinal Zen and what's the reaction from the Vatican? Yeah, and the reaction here in Hong Kong is the sense that the national security crackdown in the city is not over. You have a number of high-profile pro-democracy figures, including a 90-year-old Catholic cardinal, being arrested on charges of colluding with foreign forces. This is according to the U.S. State Department. Among those arrested, you have the former Bishop of Hong Kong, Cardinal Joseph Zen. You have Margaret Ng, a former lawmaker and a barrister. Um, you also have Denise Ho, who is a Cantopop singer and democratic pro-democracy activist, as well as a former academic Hoi Po Kong. All four individuals, including Cardinal Zen, they were trustees of an organization known as Six, the 612 Humanitarian Relief Fund, um, in reference to June the 12th of 2019, a fund that provided assistance to protesters who were arrested during those pro-democracy anti-extradition bill protests that year. Look, um, Cardinal Zen is a towering figure here in Hong Kong. He is an outspoken critic of the Hong Kong government, of Beijing as well. He has been called the conscience of Hong Kong. And the Vatican has reacted to news of his arrest. In fact, we received the following press statement from the Vatican. Let's bring it up to you. And this is according to Matteo Bruni, the Vatican press office director, who says, quote, the Holy See has learned with concern the news of the arrest of Cardinal Zen and is following the evolution of the situation with extreme attention, unquote. Now, the arrests have also been condemned by human rights organizations, including Amnesty International, which issued a strong statement. We'll bring it up for you right now, in which they express alarm at what they call a shocking escalation here in Hong Kong. Amnesty writing this, Quote, even by Hong Kong's recent standards of worsening repression, these arrests represent a shocking escalation. Some of the city's most respected pro-democracy figures whose activism has always been entirely peaceful are now potentially facing years in jail. There could be a few more poignant examples of the utter disintegration of human rights in Hong Kong, unquote. Uh, the arrests come days after the appointment of John Lee as the next chief executive of Hong Kong. He is also the former security chief of Hong Kong during the 2019 pro-democracy protests and during the introduction of the national security law imposed by Beijing on the territory the following year. Um, supporters of the national security law and the government say that that law ended the chaos of 2019 to help restore stability in the city, but it has done far more than just that. It has also decimated the opposition and dismantled civil society here in Hong Kong. And with news of these latest arrests, there is just more concern, more fear that there can be just more crackdowns to come. John. Christy, thank you. Christy, we start with that live report. We appreciate it.